Hello and welcome to this video on Diamond 365 customer service. In this video, we're going to focus more on the evolution of Dynamics 365 customer service from customer service hub to customer service workspace. So I said a few jargons. You might already be familiar with customer service hub, which is this one. And this is the go-to app, or this used to be the go-to app earlier for case creation, case resolution, and working with anything that pertains to customer service. But Microsoft has come up with a new concept that's called Omnichannel. And Omnichannel is basically, by its name, supporting multiple channels. If I were to open a case, one of the important moments for case creation is the origin, because that's where it starts from, right? So the origin basically, oh, sorry, I clicked incorrectly. Um, I'll open a new case. And if I open a case, if you see the origin mentions that it's email, but it might as well be web, phone, Facebook, Twitter, and IoT. But all of that is done manually at this, at this point of time, except email. Because for email, and we also saw this in our previous videos, how you can automatically receive an email in Dynamics that's sent to the shared mailbox and convert into a case. For those scenarios, everything is pretty much automated, but there are other channels as well. And the vision of Microsoft is to basically um, onboard all these channels native to Dynamics. So you don't need to navigate away to, to uh, or you don't need to answer a phone call and then manually log a case. You can directly receive a phone call in, in, in the app. It sounds fancy and it sounds complicated, but it's not. It's super easy. And in this session, we are actually going to see how a phone call arrives in Dynamics 365 customer service workspace. And in the same way, with phone, we, you also have options to onboard other channels such as web, Facebook, Twitter, IoT. So without taking any more time, let's already get into real stuff. Let's see what workspace is. And I can, I can start with a lot of things, but I'm going to start first off with the most important part. I'm just going to call a number and that's, and the call will be directed to this customer service workspace. Yes, that is correct. So I'm just going to call it now. I'm calling and, and I'll try to turn on the speaker so you can also hear what the, so, okay. So it's ringing. Hi. What answered? Talk to agent. What can I help you with today? The choices are product issues, store hours, talk to agent. Talk to agent. Oh, I was on mute. Talk, talk to agent. We are transferring this conversation to an agent. I was no, mute the whole time. demo, you play the part of customer okay. and agent. You see how the call was connected directly you here? I'm going to put this a bit lower in volume. I'm going to accept the call. So I just accepted the call. And what you would see is the call is now connected to, to the number that I called from. Um, and now you see that uh, it already opens the customer, the cases related to them. Also, how, how, how can I help you with solving this problem? But this is one of the cool things about, uh, about this, that you don't need to answer a phone and open your application next to it and then try to solve problems. The calls, all everything that comes in is recorded as a record here and exists in the system. It's being transcribed and recorded if it is allowed legally for your business to do that. But besides that, it allows you a, a lot more options such as, um, yeah, you can, uh, I'm just gonna put this on mute, uh, such as you can uh, put the customer on hold, you can add more uh, agents to it and you can transfer it to someone else as well. And it's really a warm transfer where the agent, the customer will be put on hold and you'll be talking to the agent, you'll be doing a warm transfer, and then you both can assist them together, but also just the new agent picks that up. So this is quite handy, and, and, and this is one of the powerful features. Earlier, what we saw in our previous videos is that the customer service was capable of converting an, an email incoming towards your mailbox at just info at company.com directly into a case, which is a good automation, and, and 
and yeah, and then you also know the origin of that case is is uh, um, key meal. But for for any cases that will be created new, so let's say if it's about a new case, I'm gonna clear it up. I have the option to directly create a new case for this phone call. So I can say uh, customer, okay, problem with coffee dispense. All right, and then blah, blah, guess here is problem, blah, blah, but you can also use a different view. So here I see it's mentioned as web origin. But you can also change this value to have it um, as as phone call because it is the origin is phone call and we can also automate this part. But what you would also see is that, and this is a part of something that's called session templates. Um, I'm not getting there yet. It's 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 really a bit advanced. But but what you can see now is that this this uh, this phone call is now related to this case. And you can also see what are the recent cases. And this is the one that I just created, and this was the old one. So you can talk about both the cases to the customer. And the most important thing is, as an agent, you want to have all the information in hand to be able to, to serve the customer. And that is something impressive. Your customer service, how distinguished it is, has also a lot to do with retaining your customers as well. So this is what I wanted to show you. One of the more important features is also ongoing conversation dashboard. As a supervisor, I always have an overview of what's going on. So I, I see that there is an ongoing call right now. It's active and it's with Suyash at the moment. But this was also visible if someone new was someone else was calling um, and 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 then it would when the agent picks uh, PVA picks up then then it, the active agent would be PVA. And then when it's assigned to an agent, then it changes to, 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 to the agent. But you always have the option to click here, and it's not available now, it's a demo environment, but you can assign it, force close it, and do a lot more with this as well. Um, but yeah, that was more on the incoming call, and this, this was one of the benefits, so I'm just gonna hang up the call. Um, and when I hang up, um, I think this comes in the wrap-up state. If I go back to my ongoing, yeah, wrap up, which basically means that the call has just been ended and, and, and the agent is doing some last minute notes or consolidating the action points uh, for, for the call. So this is this is really cool. So we have uh, two channels already covered. I already also did a small talk on, uh, on, on, on integration with Facebook. And what that basically means is all your messages where they come is in the inbox and under your unassigned conversations. So you also have cases but you also have unassigned conversations or, or assigned conversations. And all of those things appear um, um, here. So when, when I send a message from Facebook, it will directly appear here. Okay. Um, yeah, that was more on the concept of omnichannel and how customer service have evolved into omnichannel. But what are the other benefits? Let's say if we keep omnichannel out of the picture and we just compare customer service workspace work with Customer Service Hub. Do we even have any advantages or does it make sense if I'm not using Omnichannel and, and, and I'm just working with emails and, and case creations? Does it make sense to move from Customer Service Hub to Customer Service Workspace? Let's look into that now. So one of the things, so I'll close this. One of the things that is also attributed to Customer Service Workspace is multi-session. What multi-session basically means is if I go on my active cases and I click on a case, you just saw it was a new session. And if I go back to home, it stays open. If I click on a new case, it opens next to it. So as an agent, I'm able to work on different cases with the smart assist next to it, guiding me if this case has something to do with one of the articles or similar cases that have happened in the past. But I think that that's quite productive if I'm an agent and I'm working with the system. And the same goes for, 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 for uh, this case, but also one more beautiful thing. So if I, if I click on this customer, it just opens as a next tab and it becomes a part of the session. So everything that we do in this in, inherently becomes a part of the session. So I, I clicked on customer, but I might as well click on something else if it's there. Um, Unfortunately, it's not. Let's have a look at the other case. I hope the product field has been filled in. No. Okay. If I open this, 
yeah, I can open an email, for example, next to uh, the case to see what exactly has happened. Uh, oh, this was the conversation I just had. Um, oh, it's recorded in the case as well, the voice call, but I can open an email as well next to it. So this was the email that was last sent, blah, 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 blah. And this is this is quite cool. So you can you can keep working on the same case with the, and you can open multiple emails, multiple records next to them, see what has happened without closing them, reopening them again. <coughs> this counts a lot for the productivity. Well, if I need to do the same thing here in Customer Service Hub, I'll open this case. And that's it. If I want to open a next case, a case next to it, it it's just impossible. If I want to open uh, detailed information on the customer, on products, not possible, unfortunately. So this is one of the advantages of working with customer service workspace, having to have a very nice multitasking environment with smart assess enabling you and helping you all the way. We also have agent scripts to do some automations and read the customer, et cetera, et cetera. But this is something also to explore. And that is what I want to tell you about customer service workspace on a high level. To configure all of this, I need a separate session. I'll make a different video for that. Um, but I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions about customer service workspace or if you want to have some sessions on something very specific, please leave your comments and then I will make sure I'll try that. In the meantime, happy learning. Until next time.